All right, welcome back. Let's go straight into the CAF uh, Confederation Cup. Let's talk about the uh, Bayer Elephants, talk about Ehiba, and of course talk about um, Rangers International of Enugu. Both teams will be uh, on. They'll be in the CAF Confederation Cup this weekend. So let's just quickly take a look at uh, the fixtures for the two teams. All right. So you have um, uh, in Group A that has Rangers International. You have uh, uh, FC Noadibu of Mauritania uh, up against our own Rangers. You have Al Mastri of Egypt up against um, Pyramids also of Egypt, uh, two Egyptian teams in Group A. Let's quickly flip uh, and go to Group D, uh, where our hearts and minds uh, with the Abai Elephants. Uh, San Pedro will be up against Asani Agader of Morocco and uh, Padu AC of Algeria uh, will be up against our own Aimba. Uh, Fifa, let me get your thoughts. Um, you could almost go to sleep <laughs> and, and that Aimba will do well. For Rangers, I have my fears. Uh, let's start from Rangers. Rangers have not been convinced in this season. I mean, right far from the start of the league, the sack of the coach, mm -hmm. the return of um, Saliso Yusuf. But I think some positives you want to pick from their last game against Al Masari. Yeah. They lost four goals to two. They were able to score two goals every from home in the North African region. Mm -hmm. So it shows that they can score. But what about you know going for the killer? And uh, their undoing was losing at home to that first final, game. their first game. So I think for Rangers this season, it's home and dry. I don't think they'll be able to pull any tell out of that group. Al Masari has six points. Um, uh, Prado SC also has six points in that particular group. Both have six points. And Aimba, I mean, Enugu Rangers has zero points. And uh, Noadibu. Noadibu's last game at home, they won four goals to one. Yeah. And then Rangers lost away at uh, Ilori. So you feel a loss is like a final nail on final the Final nail on the and both, So they but, must but, not lose. They must not lose. But uh, Noadibu SC of uh, Mauritania, they look like a team who, who is vulnerable to defeat. They, but then, their home is very hostile. And I don't know the plot, uh, the, uh, the mindset of Rangers going into that game, but they need to go for a win. They should not settle for less because they have zero point for them to have any chance of qualifying. But it's an uphill task. There's so high mountain for them to climb because if, if they win that game, they still have Almasari to play. And Almasari, mm -hmm. this, this is a stubborn side. I think the start of, uh, of Rangers International did not, they didn't do it, they didn't get it right. You know, well, let me put you on the spot. 12 points left to play for for Rangers. How many points do you think will be enough to take them to the next round? Now, they have 12 points left. Don't forget that they still have all matches against those okay, teams, which yeah. are not still convincing. The only team I think they can go and nail to nail toe to toe when they go play at home is Noadibu. I don't think they'll be able to get anything out of El Masari. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are teams that punish you. They don't, they don't give you don't space at all. Around. When they come at home, they play as if they're playing away from yeah, home. Right. These are, you know, the mindset of Nigerian players when they go outside of the, of, of the country Everything to play is, is against let's us. Just say, so let's, let's take it as a, let's tell ourselves the truth. Do we even have the best legs to play this particular competition? Because we keep on telling ourselves, we are, these are the champions of the ITO Cup, this are this and that. But then let's tell ourselves the truth. The quality of players in the team, are they really the players that we need to play this particular competition? Rangers International, with due respect to them, They've been, they've been fantastic yes. in the, the previous times. But this particular time, is, I think it's a big job for them. And Coach Salisu Yusuf is a good coach, but then he has, he has little time to play. Oh, what, do you think, what do you think is really the problem of Rangers this season? Because it's, this is not the Rangers we know. And if you check the table also in the Nigerian... Our uh, professional yeah, league down is second to Buffalo. Uh, you know, I was even I, at first. I thought it was thought it was priority. Maybe they are trying to prioritize the league or prioritize the calf. They are not prioritizing but anything. They are losing both ways. Yes. And look at just about some five months ago at the Super Six in Lagos, Rangers played fantastic football yes. under Agbenga Agumbote. Mm -hmm. But I think first of all, letting Benga Agumbote leave was it brought a lot of tweaking to the team. And then the coach who came in, because so many so many players are still in the team. They got Gus Power and Efiok from Akwa yeah. United, a fantastic player, but they've not been able to synergize. They've not been able to play as a unit. So I think the Technical crew, I uh, would put the blame on them. They're not being able to hold one of your best coach. I know the sack and going of managers in the MPFL is also one another major issue. Look at my Abdul Maikaba. The first season at Plateau United, he didn't have it good. But he was allowed yeah, yeah, to retain, stay, and yeah. now he's on top of the table. So it's about consistency. How consistent can you retain a manager to ensure that he gets the best the out of your results. team? All right. Uh, that's, uh, and then, Ehimba International, it's a different one, because Ehimba International, I want to tell you, Usman Abdallah is a business-minded coach. Yes. He's a coach that knows what he wants. And looking at how they've been able to play, they, they have three points already. They lost, uh, they won their last game against San Pedro. Yeah. And looking at the team they are going to play, that team is a team that you can pick points from. They are also rock bottom in that particular group. They lost their last game. Yeah, but you know, but they won their last game 5 0. We're always afraid of North African teams. North African but teams. not but Algerian teams. Algeria, yeah. Or Algeria. not Algerian teams. And don't forget that if you look at 
MFM some, some, some two seasons ago, last year when they prepared against one of the Algerian teams, they were able to do something even, even at away, home, from away home. from home. So I think Eiba International has already, but they have injury problems in their team. If I am is injured, uh, Tevilos, a fellow kind Nelson in Ogonaya, but they still have what it takes to go far. Victor Obama is firing on all cylinders. Sio Lissema is also there. So they have players in their team who can see Austin Oladapo, not forgetting Stanley Okorum. So I think Eiba International can pick up points. But then the team they're going to play one five goes to nothing. In their okay. last game, yeah, and uh, Aiba International, uh, you know, got a draw away from where Jigawa got start, so that will play a lot in this particular game. But I think Aiba has all it takes, they are very, very courageous, they play as a unit, and they, they play even better away from home. I mean, they look at what they did at the last game, they lost two goals to nothing against, I mean, obviously, agreeably the best side in that group, mm -hmm. Agadir of Morocco. So I think Aiba can qualify as one of the second team in that, all right. team, that group. All right, so we leave it at that. Uh, uh, all the best to our teams on the continent. Let's quickly talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League uh, because of what we just discussed. So we're gonna have eight matches. Uh, in. So let's just see uh, those matches and talk about it. We'll let Fever guide us through and let us know uh, which one he thinks is going to be a cracker, which of the teams will pick uh, results. There you have it. Uh, FC Fanyba up against Heartland. You have uh, Happy Warriors up against Platoon United, Worry Wolves up against Quara United, Casino United up against Gala Golden Stars, Sunshine Stars up against the Kara FC, Aqua United up against Lobi, and Amara United up against Rivers United, MFM FC playing at Hope up against Nasra United. Um, favor, take us through. Um, I mean, okay. where we will see good football? <laughs> I think, the, first of all, we don't take anything away from the Oriental Derby. Okay. I mean, okay. FC Fanyuba, Uche mm -hmm. Kabwe. Uche Kabwe is one of the coaches this season that is relatively unknown. He's yeah. just there. But what he played in the Super 6, he scored against every team in the Super 6. He played good football, but then he didn't win the, so he didn't yeah. win the Super 6. But look at what he did. He brought in some players. He brought in uh, Chigose Chileko from Aqua United, and he has been scoring for them in the last two games. He scored for them. And don't forget, when it's Oriental Derby, it's always very difficult. Against an Heartland, a Heartland side that has uh, the former coach of MFM International, and forgetting uh, the players in the team. Christian Piagbara is also in the team. So it's going to be a cracker in Anambra State in Newey. That will definitely be a game to watch out for because of what has happened so far. But another game I think uh, players should be watching out for is the game involving Aqua United and Lobby Stars. Why I say so is Aqua United just coming from the win against um, Dakana FC, a known rival in that particular state. That's a local derby. And now playing against Lobby Stars, Benga Gumbote. Benga Gumbote knows Aqua United very well, in and out. And Lobby Stars is just a short <laughs> trip from according to Aqua Ibom State. And playing against a team that is trying to you know, gather themselves again, it will, be, it will be a very big test for uh, the coach. And they just got an assistant coach, you know, talking about Joe Remy, uh, at two, uh, uh, to former the assistant coach of the under 17. Second assistant coach is just with the team now. So it's going to add more to Coach Kennedy Bobo. So that's a game to watch out for players, key players to watch out for. You look at the team of uh, Aqua United, having had a crown to Rock, the are legend who is now firing goals on all goes, yeah. I think they now, they've started, that Coach Kennedy Bobo now knows his team, he knows the kind of players he wants to deputize the game. So the fans will be looking at that particular game as a game that has so much to offer. And Lobby Stars, remember what they did in Abba? They got yeah. a point away from home in Abba, so they want to replicate that in Aqua Ibom State. You go to Sunshine Stars against Dakada FC. Now, Dakada FC, before I left Aqua Ibom State, they were optimistic that they are going to die in that particular stadium. <laughs> and looking at what they played so far, yeah. they played good brand of football. I mean, Caleb has been able to bring the team. And the, what key thing for Dakada FC this season is the fact that Dakada FC retained most of their players last season. They only brought in some players like Ifai um, uh, Ojuku in the team. That's just one or two changes. So they maintain the team that got them the, the core from, is still intact. The core is still intact. So that is what is going for them this season. And they've been able to play fire on us. And they are good travelers. They are yet to be unbeaten. Uh, they are yet to be beaten away from yeah, home. Mm -hmm. That will play a lot for them going away from Sunshine Stars. Remember Sunshine Stars? They're a formidable team. We also have a former player who played for Aquai United, or Joe Long Lake, who is the goalkeeper of yeah. uh, Sunshine Stars. So it's going to be a very, very key All game right. to watch out for them. Um, uh, Abia Ross against Platoon United is going to be very interesting too. Abdul Maikaba is a good traveler. He knows how to get points. And Mike Lebo will be playing against his former team. Mixed feelings also at, in, yeah. in, in, in Abia State. So it's going to be a very interesting game. And then maybe MFM Nassau United, Nassau. of course, MFM will be very fantastic. Relatively unknown boys who are ready to make name for themselves. Yes. I mean, a lot of persons didn't give them a chance to play. Yeah. They felt they didn't have Especially a chance this season. But, but then Coach Bolus and their Coach Emma, who is their stand coach, have really done a lot for the team. I mean, boys who are really hungry for dispatching a quite United 3 0 in Lagos. And then you know that is they've really shown that they are a force to be reckoned with. All right. So it, it, it's going to be very, very exciting this weekend. And not forgetting Adamawa United and Rivers United. We'll see how it goes. But then Warriors and Quarry United is going to be interesting. I think, I think Warriors should be able to pick some points in this particular one. Quarry United are still struggling since yeah. they got the promotion, uh, the, uh, by, uh, the, since they bought the slot yeah. of Delta Force. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right, uh, we need to go on a little timeout. We just enjoy some game from the Nigeria Professional Football League. And our guest, Ben Alay, is in the house. He'll be joining us. <laughs>